How are you going to be graded? Listen, I don't like grades. Um, they drive me nuts because they drive y'all nuts. And then y'all drive me nuts about the grades. And I understand, you know, it's important stuff now, you know. Um, I wish we could just be like at Evergreen and we could, you know, just all get A's and move on with our lives. But that's not how shit works at state school. <laughs> You got to go to a small liberal arts college and you spend 60 grand a year to have a drum circle at the end and get an A. Um, <clears throat> so how will I grade you? Quizzes are worth 40%. Okay. Like I said, there's probably 16, 15 quizzes. Um, uh, you have module responses. There's a response for each module. Okay. They're very short, a page, whatever, under a page. Those are worth 20% of your grade. And then you have an option. You choose one of the three final project options, okay? Um, a critical uh, remix artist presentation where you present a, an artist that does appropriation sample-based art or a work of theirs that critiques society in some, some, some way. So a street artist, graffiti artist, um, you know, sculpture, install artist, whatever it is, you know? The other option is a remix project. You make your own remix, but it has to be a critical remix. It can't be like, I'm going to make use the Nike logo um, as part of my brand. That sucks. Okay, but I'm going to use the Nike logo to critique Nike's, you know, uh, labor practices or environmental practices or, or Nike's, um, you know, the fact that Nike files for, you know, 800, 1,000 patents a year um, or is extremely litigious and you're going to use their logo for that. That is cool. Okay. Um, and then a paper. You can write a paper. You can write a paper where you sort of summarize a topic from the class that's important to you. And I'll talk more and more length about that. All right. But with that said, a couple things here. This is important. I don't give A pluses. What? What? Yeah, your GPA is going to go down from a 4.25 to a 4.24. Guess what? On a 4.0 scale, that's an, at the top of the scale is an A. There ain't nothing over that. You know what I mean? No A pluses. This ain't middle school. This ain't preschool where you get a gold sticker for not, you know, peeing in your pants. This is college, yo. You get an A. An A is a fantastic grade. Um, I also don't give 100. So subjectively, you know, you may get a 100 on one of the quizzes or whatever, but you won't get a 100 on the present, on the final project. It's just impossible because you can always just do a little bit better. I don't want y'all getting complacent, you know, um, getting too high on your own supply. Um, I do round up final grades. That's just something, you know, uh, uh, you can see there. Um... I don't accept late assignments, no late quizzes, no BS on the quizzes, none of that stuff. Um, you got to do them on time. They're due every Sunday by midnight. That's what it is. Um, responses due every Sunday by midnight. That's what it is. All right. So, um, you know, quizzes are at the end of most modules. They're a combination of like 8 to 20 true-false multiple choice questions. You have about 25 minutes to do them. And uh, here's the deal. I'm a decent guy. I drop the five lowest ones. They automatically drop. <sighs> Gone. Okay, that's pretty sweet. And the shit's open note. You can use your notes. So, like, there's no reason for you not to, like, smash this out of the park. All right? Uh, module responses. Basically, there's the same prompt for every, every week and every module. <clears throat> um, you know, for every module. And you just answer. It's very simple. You just write a short response. You submit it on Canvas as a PDF, and, and that's that. And I read them, and I have a great joy out of them. Um, and it's mad fun. Uh, early on in the term, there isn't... You also have a, a discussion board where I ask you to post a video introducing yourself, which is also super fun for me, and it's graded. I... All right, um, you, all right, the final presentation or the final project options, which are due um, towards the end of the term, you can see the date. You can click on the link, you know, Critical Artist, Artist Remix Presentation. It takes you to the full assignment description where you can see everything that's going to be asked of you. Um, also, for all of these, in week four, you'll have a short proposal due. So you can pitch your idea <clears throat> to me and get a little feedback. Um, 
those proposals aren't for me, they're for you, it's so that you're thinking about this early in the term versus thinking about it um, two days before it's due and then totally shitting the bed. This is so that you can have success and feel like you got something out of the project, um, that it wasn't just some other crap, you know, crappy school project that you did because you had to and you hated it, that you could actually put some effort and some energy into it and you find something that you're interested in and, 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 and go there. All right, so critical remix artist presentation. This is a five to seven minute video presentation. That is, you use Panopto, to record yourself giving a presentation, a formal sort of academic presentation on a critical remix artist. They have to be someone that is, you know, use samples from society to critique it in some way. So someone like Banksy or someone like Ron English or, you know, um, there's just tons and tons of appropriation artists out there. Hal Hefner, um, Recycled Propaganda. I give a bunch on the assignment description to get you started, right? Ad busters, whatever. But you know, go find some on your own. Um, and you present some of their work, you present them, you talk a little bit about their ideology, but it's, it's you know, you record this on, um, on Panopto. And on the assignment description, you can, there's links to, you know, give you information on how to do that. Um, I actually say you can't present Banksy because I don't want everybody to do Banksy, so no Banksy. But someone like Banksy. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, and remember there is week four, there is a proposal due that will be submitted on Canvas. All right, Critical Remix Project. This is your chance to make some art, uh, preferably 2D art, but you could do an audio mashup or a video mashup or anything like that where you need to sample from, you know, society or art or media to critique it, critique a celebrity, to critique a politician, to critique a brand, to critique... Um, you know, basically anything or anyone, but you you need to borrow something that's copyrighted or trademarked and then use it against itself. And we'll go through a lot of these. And actually in each overview um, <clears throat> of each module, I use pieces that students did, um, you know, as part of our uh, critical remix. Um, uh, I mean, uh, I have a fig that we, we do a critical art show. Um, you know, that uses, it's basically all appropriation art. And so I give you examples each week or each module. All right. That's pretty cool. I love those. I encourage everybody, you know, and you don't have to be a great artist to do that. You could, you know, be really good. It's all about the idea. So, you know, you could cut from magazines or you could you do collage, but it has to be like a good idea, a good concept, you know, that really burns, you know. I always suggest people when you want to make a statement like that, find something that makes you mad, you know, find someone, something, a brand, a, a artist, a celebrity, whatever that just pisses you off you know, a social issue, whatever it is, and use that as your launch point, you know, and go from there. And then if you don't want to do a presentation or make art, you can just write a damn paper. <laughs> this is a, a, you know, five to seven page paper where you pick a topic from the, of the class. It could be uh, sampling in fashion, sampling in music. It could be uh, patent in food. And you write a paper about it. It doesn't need to be a research paper. You can, I in fact want you to use materials from the class, but you can of course, if you're interested in patenting food or patenting, patenting vaccines or whatever it is, and you wanna do more independent research on that and veer away from what's in the class a little bit, um, you know, that stuff that I talk about, I strongly encourage it. I find that stuff fascinating. All right, um, class materials. Everything that you need to read or consume in this class is on the Canvas page and the things to do before module. Um, um, but you'll see under class materials, there's several books I want you to be able to read from. You download them and that's, that's it. They're all Creative Commons licensed, so you can download them and there. I also give a link to Valuable Resources, which has a ton of resources that could be valuable for this class, inc including boring academic articles, books, um, you know, movies, stuff like that. Um, at, um, yeah. Then there's a whole bunch of COVID stuff, um, academic disruption, COVID stuff, which doesn't really matter for this class because it's online. Um, but if you have a COVID situation, 
you know, first of all, just read through this stuff just so you know it. And, you know, I just strongly encourage us to be cool and not be assholes about all this stuff with the other faculty and other people. Just be respectful um, in general. But all the information's there. I'm sure you're inundated with it and are over it, but it's the information is there um, for you. How you can be a good classroom citizen. I don't know if that really matters for an online class, but, you know, just so you know in general. Um... Academic misconduct. Cheating is bad. Okay. Cheat, cheating is bad. You shouldn't cheat. Cheating is bad. Cheating is bad. Don't plagiarize. Don't bite someone's critical art and claim it as your own. Um, you can't really cheat on the quizzes because they're open note, but I'm sure you could find a way how to cheat. <laughs> And cheat bad, you know, in that way. Don't, I'll catch you. If I catch you, I'll report you. And that's just very sad for all of us. And I don't want to do it. You're only cheating yourself, my dad would say. Um, accessibility. If you have AC accommodations, do hit me up. And you plan to use them specifically for, like, quizzes and stuff like that. A lot of students get AAC accommodations and then find they don't need them for this class. So if you don't want to use them or don't think you'll need them, you know, then don't hit me up. But if you you want if you want to um, use use those accommodations, do message me privately, and I'm happy to ad adhere to them and etc. That's totally cool. Um, I was born with uh, a luxurious pairing of ADHD and dyslexia, so you know I, I'm sympathetic in that in that way. I don't know how I made it through 11 years of college and wrote books and journal articles and shit like that, but somehow it happened. Um, then I give you some student resources um, for this class, uh, which, you know, uh, affirmative action and uh, counseling center and stuff like that. Important stuff if, if you need it. But that is the syllabus. I just read it to you. You probably could read it, you know, yourself in less than 20 some odd minutes. But maybe you just want to hear me talk about it. I don't want to hear me talk about it. But I did it for you because I love y'all. For real. Anyways, um, it's the real Dr. Dre, DJ Food Stamp, Andre. I'm about to go play me some Miss Pac-Man. Um, and we about to be out of here. But stay tuned. We got the Canvas tour coming up next. Because, you know, who doesn't want to get a tour of the Canvas site? Peace.